Hi all, Insightful One Fish Keeping here. Just giving you a little update on what's gone on with the tank in the last couple of weeks. As you can see, my little um, Corydoras trillionatus, I believe it's pronounced. Happy little buggers. As you can see, my um, sponge filter is on its side. And that is because I actually put a power head on it and it's, believe it or not, it's the power head from the bottom of my hang on back filter. And I adapted it and put it on my sponge filter to get better flow and uh, better filtration and it's been working out great. And I propped it up, propped the sponge filter up on a rock to keep it off the bottom. It's one of the favorite places for my fish to hang out now, down underneath the filter. And um, and then the actual flow goes sideways through the bottom of the tank back behind this piece of um, manzanita bush, and um, and then I put a I put an air stone in front of it so that I would get tons of aeration in my tank, and then I have the sponge filter still over here, the homemade sponge filter over in the corner behind my java fern. I moved a couple things around over here, took out the slate that was there, the tile that was there for my angels because they didn't like it and they wouldn't use it. And they were using actually my hang on back filter, which I removed. So I put this funny little turtle ledge thing, whatever it is, sideways in the tank over here to see if they would maybe clean that and use it. And they've been showing some interest in it. So I'm hoping that that works out all right. And um, and I added a different light underneath, or actually above right now for the time being, pointed downward on the glass to, to give the plants just a little bit more light because I just can't quite shake this brown diatoms um, that have been going on in the tank for a little while. And I thought I had it beat and then it started coming back again. Um, you can see quite a bit of it right there on that wood and it gets all over the plants. You can see it all over the, the, um, dwarf sag right here. And, and I thought, and all over the Amazon sword and I thought I had it beat, but it just started coming back again. And, um, I read where if my plants aren't getting enough light, and growing too slowly and then I have these plants here that should be just taken off growing like crazy that uh, Elodia I think it's called um, and it's not and the um, also the the um, yeah I think that's the one I forgot the name of last time Anyway, these plants should be growing like absolute crazy, and they've only just started coming on um, with some new under, under underwater growth. So um, I thought I would put a little more light on there and see if we couldn't encourage a little bit quicker, faster growth. And then I've also um, tied down a bunch more of the new babies that came off the tops of some of the um, java fern that was putting on babies. You can see some babies back there that haven't come off of the original leaves yet. Um, tied those down across here and hoping to fill all this in. And then I just love how that, that power, um, I guess mock power head, if you will, is blowing all these tiny little air bubbles out of that air stream uh, in the middle here. And I just, my plants and my fish seem extremely happy and I'm also I also have quite a bit of devil's ivy with its stems down in the tank here um, and today I did a little over about a 30 percent water change and it's the first water change in two weeks and the fish stayed completely happy and my parameters were all good zero zero and twenty um, really really good shape this week in the tank that way and um these two here have been picking at each other a lot um, and also sending the other fish packing because they really do want to spawn. And um, this little mama right here is very prego. My little sword tail mama 
And she's going to start dropping anytime if she hasn't already. And this is her favorite place to hang out and to drop her babies in this corner in front of this rock. So we'll see what happens. This black female will never leave her alone and drives her nuts, but we'll see if we can, we'll see what happens. So anyway, that's all the big changes in the tank this week. And um, I've got a new light on order for the tank. And then I'll be able to take all these other funky lights out and just do one light. So I'm really excited at how happy the tank seems, how happy the fish are, how healthy they are. Um, my little Cory cats are doing really well. I have six all together. And uh, my little pineapple male up there, he's never gotten the black girl pregnant. And the other girl came from the store pregnant because he was actually the one that came with the tank. I said it was her last time. I don't know what I was talking about because he's the one that came with the tank. And her and the black girl I bought at the store and the orange one came pregnant and the black one did not. And I've had them like three months and she's already, the orange one has already given birth to one lot of babies. And this is her second one and the black one's doing nothing. So I'm thinking my little male is a dud. But we'll see. Alrighty. And that's all there is to it this week. So God bless you guys. Have a wonderful week. I'm out.